<laughs> so we're beginning. We're gonna be going for E up north here. We've got a full army that's super broken and strong. Unfortunately, Chen Kong does not have Pitter Taunt, but we still have Jugaleon for now. Uh, I think I can. Oh yeah, there we go. I want to fill in these slots if we can. Do you have any tactics? No. Nope. Let's see if I can quickly put some more tactics on these guys. Not that they probably need it, but... Oh, no, I have no more craft. So you can also see, just to give you a comparison of just the quality of units. So these are extremely high intelligence. Uh, so we got 76 intelligence, 66 in Wait, really? Shen Gong has higher intelligence? Oh, he's a much higher level, that's why. <laughs> he's got seven levels on him. This guy's level 15, this guy's level 8. So that would that would probably do it. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, but okay, so this is probably the best way to show this. So this is Zhang Liao. This is an S-tier unit. This is like a, one of the better units in the game. So you see the war value, 78, 46. And it's about the same level. So you can just see how much different the stats are, right? How much attack, what sort of tactics you get. And there's a, there's a huge difference, so... Obviously, you want as many of these A and S tier units. So, Gaoshan, you can see here. Again, he's probably A tier. This is S tier. So, it's just stat-wise. It's just very... You want as many of these S tier units as possible. So, one, two, three. These three units right here, I've just been using them as fillers. Actually, Ho Chen as well. And even Ji Ling. He doesn't have very good stats either. At least he's decent war value. So, anyway... Like, for instance, in the Liu Bei campaign, I'm going to have just, oh, it's going to be beautiful. You, you get a top tier, uh, like, army right off the bat, you just get super high, high stat generals. The way I would characterize all the forces is Cao Cao kind of has, he has huge armies and actually he has really good officers, whereas... Wu is a little bit smaller, but they have quite competent officers. Oh, that's a shoal. Gonna have to pull there. And Liu Bei is a small elite force that have just been fighting forever, so they're all veterans. So we're setting up here around the pit, as usual. Yeah, that'll be right there. And Liu Bu is just... <laughs> His units were never really high. Very, very good units. Oh, the only downside. Oh, I done goof there. <laughs> Shang Liao's not going to be involved in this one. Oh dear, you're in the way, aren't you? Well, if I, if I, I can still set it off here. So what I'll do, I'll end that turn, end that turn, and then get this guy to start reviving people. Because what will happen here if I, oh, charge, let's do a raid. Uh, yeah, there we go. So this will set off everybody except for Zheng Liao, which I kind of goofed. That's okay. But anyway, yeah, so Liu Bu campaign, this one, this certain one, this this choice shouldn't take too much longer. Give them no this time chain. To respond. I'm hoping, I'm not sure how much longer the campaign's gonna go. Doesn't seem very, doesn't seem very linear progression. Doesn't seem like you slowly build your forces. It seems like you've kind of been bouncing around everywhere. Let us go. The thing is, too, is that I have a sneaky suspicion that everybody's going to rebel against me in the final, in the final fight. Because Liu Bei does not like me. Neither does like any of my. What other allies do I have that probably don't like me? There was a really cool scenario in the first game where you were fighting as Cao Cao, and everybody rebelled against you. Like you literally take over the entire map. And then in the last scenario, basically you have all these different different factions all of a sudden rise up, and you have to crush them one after another. It's kind of cool, because you have all your units that you've been using all this time, and a 
the ones that aren't the part of your core of your army, they just rebel because it, it was just kind of fun. It, it mixed it up, and you're like, oh no, that person betrayed me. Especially if it was the top tier unit in your army. Which is probably how I'm gonna feel once the damn, damn Liu Bei's faction betrays me. And that's why I wasn't using the, the core of Liu Bei's army. I would honestly prefer to just. Oh, I can probably speed this up. Give them no chance to respond! Do, do, do. Using the core units is always the best bet for most armies, just because you know that they're actually reliable and they're not going to betray you. Give them no chance to respond! Is that just a general principle? Probably. Okie dokie. So everybody's going to get their abilities, which is wonderful. I got to fix Shang Liao real quick. Hopefully he'll be able to go. Alrighty. Well, may as well just set it off again. Uh, the only downside is that, again, yeah, Zhang Liao's not going to be used. He's number three, I think, but we'll just wait. Yeah. We'll just set it off with... Oh. You know, we can't set it off with this now that I think about it. I can set it off with this. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Set it off with that. No idle hands! It's very fun watching the TV show, the Romance of the Three Kingdoms or Three Kingdoms 2010 TV show, because you get all the background on a lot of these characters. Not. It's very cool. It's very, very fun. And you'll be like, oh, hey, it's that guy, or... You, you kind of know more of a backstory. Like, Ko Zhang, he's one of the sons of Cao Cao, so he's one of the two younger sons. I guess there was three younger sons, but he's one of the two younger sons that actually survived for a little while. Because I think there's Ko Chong, who gets assassinated, and then there's Ko Zhang and Ko. I've forgotten the other one. There's another son, and then Ko P is the eldest son, who's kind of he's very crafty, and I think it's implied that he's the one who. Well, I'm not sure if it's implied or not. I think it's implied, at least in the TV show, that the eldest son, out of jealousy... Now, this is the problem here, because this is a shoal, and not a plains... Wait, what is it? A plains, barrens, grassy ass, yeah, so that's not gonna really help me. So I'm gonna have to move to there. And pull it there. Yeah, may as well just move. Well, yeah, may as well just move up. Scare. I do have to say that it was useful to have Xing Liao as a strategist because of the fact that oh, he's pit. <gasps> you have pit. Give me pit. It was useful because he was actually mobile. Oh, okay, that's actually good. So that's Simi Yi, so we're going to be using him when we do get to Zhao Cao because he does come pre-equipped with a very good pit. <laughs> very good pit. Just very, very good uh, tactics in general, very high intelligence. So serves well as a strategist. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's fine. Okie dokie. So, plains grass. Okay, so he can actually he can pull right there. Charge. Let's just move up one. Move him over. I guess you can really only do that. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. That's actually gonna block my... So now I need to set it off with... Oh no, I can't set it off! Oh no, and also that guy's got super high int. Oh dear. Well, he keeps failing pit though. Alright, well... We'll just continue setting up around that. Could we charge him? I wonder if we could charge him into... Let's charge him once and then see what happens. I want to get him just one more square over to the right. Get somebody one more square over to the right. I, unfortunately, there's nothing else I can do because that'll get him there. That's okay. Give them no chance to that is my setup a combo. Give them no chance to respond. La 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 la. Got my Monday morning coffee. Time has come. I got a day off today, so I'm using the opportunity to relax. Play some Dynasty Tactics. I'll probably record a couple episodes today. If I'm aiming for kind of 20 minute sessions, it's probably my best bet. Okay, so I can just charge here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, here. Okay. Well, that's kind of okay. Stuns him again. <laughs> that poor unit. Oh, just getting beaten up. Yeah, fortitude. I think that's saying Bob. He's got fortitude. Is that saying Bob? Yeah. All right. What are we gonna do here? I like the sound of this. Probably shouldn't have gone into the back line there, but. Oh, why is he there? So right here, we're going to link this together. Oh, that's going to push him forward. Wait, it feels bad. Leave them to me. Stop beating me up. Dangba's just never going to get to move. And unfortunately, the AI seems to really, really not... Wait, gather. Oh. He just pulled my pit guy right into the. Oh. Attack all <laughs> well done. That's uh, not ideal. Hmm. So next turn I can move him. Oh. Can't really move him anywhere. This, th these forests are actually annoying the crap out of me. Give them no chance to respond. <laughs> uh, how annoying! Goodbye, friend. It was nice knowing you. Goodbye, friend. Okay, let's just move up a little bit. Hey, it's K.O. Ren. Good old K.O. Ren. Very good, General. Very, very good. Actually, should probably revive. Arrow. That pulls him towards him, right? Yeah. That is okay. So he should actually end up going first. So all attacks actually going to push him forward. That's the problem.
so we'll continue linking. <laughs> no, don't do it! Wait. Oh, it's way over there. That's not no. ideal. I think that might actually hit the other guy to my side as well. But it only touched him. Oh. Let's just boost this guy just- Oh wait, that's gonna set off! Oh god, what have I done? Keep advancing! Gosh darn it. That's gonna push him forward, unfortunately. Oopsie. Do not give them time to rest. This was not executed very well. It is written in the stars. Your doom will soon be upon I think I just gave him a crap ton- Yeah, I just gave him a crap ton of borrow. So 9, 10, 11. Okay, so we can shift there. Sure, we'll set up a charge off that. Give them no chance for okay, run this support tactics. Sure hope that guy doesn't have a repel. Pretty sure he doesn't. But... Taking a lot of losses here. <laughs> we said a lot of units. Alright, so we're gonna set up. Switch here? Or I could decoy. Yeah, it'd be the same thing. How rude. How rude. Oh. Now! Well. <laughs> That's the wrong direction. Advance! Oh. That's interesting. Honestly, I'm fine with that, but... Can I boost here? No, I can't boost. I'm not sure what's gonna go off first here. Whatever. Let's just roll the dice, see what happens. Have no chance to respond. Oh yeah, 8 went off first. Shall assist. This'll actually kill Ixon Dun. Give them no chance to respond. Destroy them in one blow! Attack! I like free combo points. That's always nice. Draw them in. Go! There we go. So two units down there. Now we need to set up on the left hand side of the field here. Ideal. Set up for an aid next turn. Let's move there. Shame. Oh, if only you had aid. Oh, sometimes infantry is worth it. Am I gonna lose two units this game? Wow. Losing like 32,000 troops. <laughs> it's actually a lot. Probably more than that. Okay, well, that's actually a good position for him to be in. They actually end up killing my unit, though. That's not cool. Damn AI. Filling up a fight. He's got 11 morale. Unlucky. I don't think he'll be able to move there anyway. I don't think he'll be able to go very early. 
Let's go ahead and just set off stuff here. Well, that's it, won't set off that. That's the pro. Okay, I need to set up a revive here, basically. Yeah. Well, actually, I can get I can get what's his face in here. You can like move one forward, so we can't. That's fine. Ugh. Right now. Ah. Like my guy, Charles. No chance to respond. Just hoping the charge is a little bit later no, in the combo have. chain. It's hard to keep track of everything sometimes. Give them no chance to respond. When you have this many units. Yeah, I don't think a charge five is gonna one shot him. Yeah, I don't know. Needed another two combo points or something like go. that. Let's we'll still end the battle though, so that's good. Go! On what's it up once? All right. We continue to head north. Actually, a lot of people, a lot of people just old, surprisingly. Wait, that, wait, what? Those bastards betrayed me. Why did you betray me? <laughs> Wait, is you Gay Leon gonna leave me? Because I will be very sad. He's acting suspiciously. Oh. That son of a gun. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that you've left me. You wouldn't leave me. He didn't leave me. Wait, you actually didn't leave me, friend. Uh, maybe he's afraid of being killed, I guess. Oh. That's not what I wanted. Put poor Zangba back into the, the queue here. Okay, so we've been betrayed. <laughs> so we're going to have to take back Zhu Chang. Zhu Chang? Zhu Chang. Something like that. Yeah, that should be next time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, guys. Onwards and upwards.